there is a problem with Indian standard time. Because it's trying to make a country that's almost 3000 kilometers wide function under one time zone. Does it make complete sense? India lies east of the Greenwich Meridian line between 68.7 degrees and 97.25 degrees longitudes. Since every 15 degrees of longitude corresponds to one hour, there is a time difference of almost two hours between the westernmost and easternmost points of the country. Which means if someone living in this end of the country experiences sunrise at 6 a.m., this end has already seen it at 4 a.m. And this is very inefficient in terms of making most of the day as possible. The British understood this during the colonial era and decided to split the country into two different time zones in 1884, Bombay time and Calcutta time, after two of the most important cities of that era. But in 1904, when railway lines started linking up important places, a single time system had to be followed to avoid confusion. They called it railway time and took a longitudinal reference that was somewhat midway between Bombay and Calcutta, which turned out to be Madras. But the difference between GMT and Indian Railway time was considered imperfect. There was a pressing need to make Indian time ahead of GMT by exactly five and a half hours. And the corresponding longitude for that would be 82.5 degrees east. The town of Mirzapur in present-day Uttar Pradesh was found to be on that very line. A clock tower that was constructed in 1891 was officially designated to show Indian Standard Time. And this was what was followed for a long time, even after independence. Today, IST is maintained by the National Physical Laboratory in Delhi through high-end cesium atomic clocks. But it has still not solved the problem of differing daylight zones in the country, especially in the northeastern states, where a good number of daylight hours are wasted because of sticking to IST. As a consequence, people in cities like Gohati spend an irrational number of daylight hours fast asleep and hours of darkness awake. Workers in tea plantations in Assam followed their own local time, Chai Bagan time, set one hour ahead of IST. In 2006, the Planning Commission endorsed the idea of having two separate time zones, but nothing much was done to put it in place. A year later, scientists from the IASC in Bangalore said there was no need to split the country into two time zones, but just reset IST six hours ahead of GMT instead of five and a half. This would result in India saving 2.7 billion units of electricity every year. That did not take off either. There are other fears about multiple time zones, like confusion and ambiguity in travel schedules. But we only need to look at the US where airlines and railways function perfectly within four different time zones. Closer home though, China which stretches more than 3,500 kilometers end to end, has only one time zone with an aim of fostering national unity. For now, there does not seem to be any decision from the Indian government in solving the crisis of time between two parts of the country which means all of our watches and clocks will keep ticking to IST for a long time to come.